But right now, over in our performance area is one of the world's great composers with our Music Magic regulars. Here is Mr. Philip Glass. Could you play a piece for us? Okay, I'll play uh, part of a piece that's on a record so that you can listen to the whole piece uh, another time. Okay. This is piece is called Opening, and it was the beginning of a record, and that's why I called it Opening. Music since I was uh, six, but I began playing the. I began as a flutist, and I played flute uh, until I was around 15, and then I switched to piano because I felt I couldn't play enough music that I wanted to play. That the piano, there's more music written for the piano, and I also was thinking about writing music, and I knew that piano was going to be a better instrument for that. So I guess that, to answer the question, how long have I been playing? About 45 years. How long have you been composing? Uh, since I was 15, so about 35 years. Now, to, like the piece that you just played, how long would that take for you? Uh, to write it? Well, maybe not so long to write it in a certain uh -huh. way, uh, because um, that was a lucky piece. That was a piece where one day I sat down and I played the chord. So I, I played the harmony, and, I, and then I played this harmony. And then I played this harmony. So I, I had, and then I knew that would go back to the beginning. So I had that, then I began to think how that could become a piece. And we were saying before that it really takes, har it takes harmony and melody and rhythm to make a piece. Those are the three things we talk about. So I had the harmony. And I began to think of uh, that became the melody. So I had the melody, and I, you know, I might have done this in one sitting. I think I sat down, and this particular piece was a very easy piece to play because it fit right into my fingers. And then I had to think of the, what the rhythm would be. And I did, a, I did something, since the harmony was so simple in a way, and the melody was so simple, I decided to make the rhythm a little bit different. So what I did, now if you'll count, this, the, these are in twos. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I decided to do the right hand in threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's like counting twos in one hand and threes in the other hand, right? <laughs> And what happens is, is that in the right hand, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I put it. So that's, and so I had the rhythm, and I had the harmony, and I had the melody. So I had the piece. <laughs> that was a lucky piece. So that, I call them lucky pieces when you sit down and you can play them. That doesn't happen so much. But it happened on that piece, and maybe that's one of the reasons I like that piece. Do you always start with just the harmony? No, sometimes it could be the rhythm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be just the rhythm. It could be anything. It could be the melody, too. Uh, it has to, it's usually, it usually, sometimes it comes from an idea. Someone will say, uh, could you write music for this movie? And then I'll look at the picture. And I'll see the picture, and I'll try to catch the mood of the picture. You know, if I can catch the mood of the picture and, and say what it's about, that the music, what the music should do is to give you a way to look at the picture and to tell you what the feeling is. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll try to capture that mood. Mm -hmm. 
Do you play your music best in like mornings, evenings, nights? For me, I like the mornings. I like to get up when everyone's asleep. And I play as loud as I want to. I wake them up if I can. I can never wake them up. Everybody sleeps through it. But I, I start around 6 in the morning. And I, I like to work till, I like to write music till around noon. But sometimes I'll come back after dinner and I'll work again at, at a piece. And do you, can you like play your music to like pictures and stuff like that? I can. What I do know, what a lot of people do is that if, for example, it's a movie, I can take a video of it and put it on a screen and I can look at it. And I'll maybe have the, the movie director come over and I say, I have an idea for your movie and he'll come and sit and he'll, we'll look at it and I'll play the music and we'll watch it. There's a, a movie around uh, now called uh, Poakatsi, which I did like that, mm -hmm. where we looked at the pictures and I did the, did the music with it. How many pieces have you composed? Yeah, I, you know, I really truly lost count. But when I, was, when I was 28, I decided, I had already written music for about thir 12 or 13 years, and I decided I didn't like any of it. I decided to throw it all away, and there, I was up to about 70. And I took all that music and I put it in boxes, in Carver boxes, and put it in my brother's basement. And it's still there in Baltimore somewhere, in some basement or other. And I haven't looked at it since. But uh, that was uh, when I was 28. And I've done a lot more since then. So I guess I've kind of lost count. I don't kind of count it like that. Maybe I'm superstitious in a way. Is there any count. kind of music that you really like to compose? I like to do operas. That's where you have people singing, um, sometimes people dancing. You'll get uh, maybe a designer to make a design that maybe will create an, an image like a a field or a house or whatever. Uh, you have a big orchestra, maybe it could be 60, 80 people. You can get a chorus of maybe 70 or 80 people. Mm -hmm. So that an opera can take maybe 200 people. 200 people to put on an opera. Uh, see, the thing about an opera, when you get an opera house, that's the composer's house. He runs the house. He gets to tell everybody what to do. Thank so that's why I like that. Thank you very much for coming, Mr. Glass. We'll be right back with more music magic after these messages.